When the words are simple like this, it's either that the passage is very confusing or you just have a very easy question. So let's just see what we get. The works of Chicana artist Esther Hernandez are now blank in museums both in the United States and abroad, but the murals she contributed to as a member of Las Mujeres Muralistas early in her artistic career were displayed in outdoor public spaces across San Francisco. So I just want to steal that word, are now displayed in museums both in the United States and abroad. So uh, featured is basically that, right? To, to feature something is to show it off. Um, so that's basically just a synonym. There's really nothing more complicated there. The other words uh, just don't really make sense, or maybe they add in some definitions or some ideas that we just don't have, right? Those uh, those works are now invented in museums. No, like it's not like you go to a museum and you make the art. The art's already there. That's what happens in a museum. They already have it. They're adjusted. Well, what does that mean? Like we're fixing it. We're like straightening the painting. Like wh what are we talking about? It adjust. It doesn't make any sense here either. And recommended. I get why someone might pick that, but it doesn't, it just, this is a good example of like usage. I, I just don't know what would, you can't say this with this word. You can't say the works are now recommended in museums. Just because they put it on display, just because they, they have an exhibit about it doesn't mean like, that's not like recommending it. Like recommend is, hey, you should check out this toothpaste. It really works well. Like that's a recommendation. I, a museum doesn't recommend the art that it puts out. It's just, it's just a case where it just, the word doesn't fit. And so I get that that's frustrating for people who are not uh, native English speakers, because you don't have as strong a feeling about certain words like that. But I do think it's probably stronger than you think. So maybe some of it is about confidence in yourself that just through learning English, whatever you're reading uh, is going to help you pick up on when certain words can be used. Um, try to follow that feeling as best you can. Hopefully, though, the word featured is a word you've encountered as just kind of fitting perfectly here.